Okay guys, welcome back to Riders in the Storm. Hope your 4th of July was as wonderful as ours was. Yeah! Oh my goodness, Roro beats up Grandpa. Help everybody. Send the police. Send the SWAT teams. Riders on the Storm. Riders on the Storm. And it's right there along the river. It's very pretty. I didn't know if you wanted to do that on the way down or not. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Hi, YouTube. We're good. <laughs> Click subscribe. <laughs> Hi. Oh, uh, click subscribe and like. Hi. Hi, Every, YouTube. Everybody like dies. <laughs> There's a bridge. You tell them about the bridge crossing. This place is packed compared to when we were here last time. But it's it's a nice place, so we may end up. You know, if you wanna, if we're up here, you'll know where to come find us. Yeah. This is gorgeous. And this is where I was telling you, if you keep going on this road another mile and a half, all of yeah. a sudden it opens ranch. up to this gorgeous horse ranch. It's ridiculous. Oh, Mom would be in love. Well, you can't go on there, baby. It's private property. Yeah, it's private. You can drive past it, and that's about it. We can go on it one time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one time. Yeah. Driver's license, please. Registration, proof of insurance. Do you have your fishing license with you, sir? Do you? I had half a beer, sir. <laughs> okay, hi guys. We're in Bura, Bura Vista, Colorado, at this park, which was donated in 1880. And it's the 3rd of July, and tomorrow's the 4th of July. And there's a lot of people doing what they do over the holiday weekend, picnicking, and some of them are actually on paddle boards in this water. So I'll walk over here and show you. See them? There's a bridge way down there where you can walk across. Yep, Buena Vista, Colorado. Highly recommend it. If you haven't ever been here before, it's a beautiful area. Hi guys, it's Riders in the Storm. This, I'm Steve and this is Pat. And boy, we've had a very eventful week. Pretty exciting. We had the grandbabies come spend some time with us. This is our 4th of July special, if you will, of camping, glamping with them mm -hmm. on uh, Turquoise Lake. Yep, we're in Turquoise Lake, which is just near Leadville. Yeah, in the early part of this vlog video, you're going to see us in uh, Buena Vista. And there's two parks there, and we took them to those parks. And that was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Went and took them, got ice cream. Yep. You and then when the babies left, that's when the adventure began. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we left Turquoise Lake, and we went down to stay, uh, what was the place where we stayed? It's at a campground just on the Green National Mountain. National Forest. Gr yeah, Green Mountain Reservoir, just uh, north of Silverthorne, Colorado. Yeah, we went up there looking for water, and <clears throat> again, the two things we're always seeming to look for are one is water, and the other is a place to dump, and they had neither. They had some uh, uh, um, pot toilets. Vault toilets. Vault toilets. They had some vault toilets, no water, and no sewer, and the, you can get, there was a real nice place that you could dump uh, by the sanitation department as you're coming into town, Silverton. Silverthorn. Sorry, Silverthorn. There was a place you could dump for three bucks, which is incredible. They had no water. They had didn't even have water to rinse out your hoses. So as I've said in other vlogs, what you got to do in that case is dump all your brown stuff, then dump dark your dark stuff, uh, your gray water, excuse me, and then your shower. And that's what we always do when that situation happens. But across town, for ten bucks, you can get both water and you can dump, or I think you can just go there and get water, can't you? For, you can just get water, but I don't know it's if still it's- still 10 bucks, so you might 10. as well do your dumping there. Mm -hmm. That's a little strange, but it's a beautiful area. There's a lot of really nice national forest places to camp around Dillon Lake. It's gorgeous. We'll talk about a little bit of that again in our next vlog, but in this vlog, we are sitting at this new campsite, which is only $9 a night. It's, it's McDonald Flat. McDonald Flat, I'm sitting right by the reservoir. And it just started raining. It came in like buckets. Uh, the only time, other time we've seen it, we call it Texas rain. 
because it just comes in and feels like water, a whole ocean of water is just going through you, and then it goes away. And on this case, we didn't think much of it. We've been in rain before. There's no leaks in the rig. It's a nice Montana fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. We go to bed. We get up the next morning. It's kind of drying out. And I heard what sounded like um, hail hitting the top of the, the panels, just little popping sounds. And then later on, maybe I, I think I took a nap. I do take naps. I took a nap, and when I got up, I noticed that the solar wasn't charging at all. And so we just went through all kinds of heck. I called my uh, coach and he talked me through a bunch of stuff. But basically when I detach the wires that come into the solar and just test them by themselves, I got no voltage coming in at all, nothing. Yeah, we don't know if we've um, ruined some solar panels, if they shorted out with the water or if it's just something with the connection or what, but we're gonna have to do some testing. Yeah, so. With more about that later, if you hear some thudding upstairs, I do, I'm do. i in my son's house and his grandbabies are jumping on the floor. I uh, wanted to make a quick mention about Starlink. That was also down, so it sounds like we're having a lot of trials. And we are a little bit, but we're having fun because we're in Colorado and we're close to my family, our family. Mm -hmm. And Starlink is uh, was down for a little bit, but they've been, they made it good. They knew that they were just coming out of beta. They're super busy. A lot of people are getting Starlink now. And it took the full 10, 11, 12 days for them to get back for us, to us. But the good news is they gave us a credit for our they, trouble. So. They gave us a month worth of free service, so that's good. Considering that, you know, if we hadn't resolved it ourselves, we would have been down for at least a half Still a down. month anyway. Yeah, we probably would have been we probably would have been down here earlier, at least parking in places where we got strong cell signal. Mm -hmm. And the 48 County Road outside of Leadville really does. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say real quick is, it's one of my pet peeves, is uh, Patty was reading an article from a magazine out of uh, Leadville talking about how people are going around to these different free places to camp, but they went through and they found a lot of trash. They found a lot of trash. And, and that's upsetting to us because we do our best to pack it in and pack it out, but the problem I have with the National Forest is they put up all these signs saying you're limited to 14 days, but what they could do so easily is... A, you can get your water at, and tell you where you can get water. You can take your trash here and dump it because everybody in town likes to put those bars across their dumpsters because they don't want to pay for everybody dumping their trash in their areas and their stores and their businesses. But the Forest Service could so easily say, here's where you get water, here's where you can dump your um, black and gray water or whatever, and here's where you can get Completely fresh trash. water and you know what you can do with all this stuff and they they don't and it could be so easy you could just put a little thing on it here welcome to our area here's where you can do or or come by the office because we want to always go by the forest office when we can find them and we found out a lot of information that was helpful forest uh, service is the ranger office is very helpful if you walk in they're usually more than happy to tell you where you can go get water or dump or or camp if there's any dispersed in the area they're they're always very helpful yeah they're really good at telling you where you can go that's not what I meant. <laughs> okay guys that's that's how we wanted to put this little insert into this week's vlog it's been really busy i'm late getting it out but it'll get out on it saturday like it normally does please like and subscribe especially the like part if we get a lot of likes in there people like the videos that gets the algorithm pick it up and then other people can watch it mm -hmm. And our, and, our, and our base can grow because that's what we need because we really love doing this. We want to keep doing it, but we can't do it without you. Right. So tell your neighbors and your friends, and we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye, all. Bye, everybody. In Buena Vista, there was a couple of parks that the kids really liked, and this one is Columbine Park, Rotary Playground Park. They yeah, really liked it. Wait. Can you make it skip? No. Why? No, I need to squirt, bro. I can, no, I can, I can, I can. You what? Can. Ugh. Ugh. And you put it. Here I am. I need the pet I'm trying, I'm trying to get a skip shot. Can you help me out? There you go. All right, show Papa. Do it up this yeah, way. Yeah, don't throw it at anybody. Like this one? Mm -hmm. Yep. No. What? Hey, Rocky. That was like pet a thud. Rocky. That wasn't a skip. Mom, pet Rocky. Oh, that was two. I bet you could do five or six if you really tried. Well, I'm going to 
before at the lake. I have done this before. There's water behind it, baby, over there. What's that say about me? So what's going on? Trying to do a little business while you're on vacation? More like a, a troubleshooting customer service issues. Don't you have a department that does that? Yeah. But that's my job is to try to... Whoa. Yeah? Okay, buddy, there's a potty over here. Good job, Tommy. Hey. Roro, I do the same thing. The older you get, the more that happens. Good job, bud! Come on. Okay. See, that's what I was afraid of. You should get back here behind that place, you can smell the hamburgers. Oh, yeah, they smell good. And they're not bad, they're just, I don't get why people stand in line for them, you know? It's gotta be the ice cream. She's asking about paddle boarding. Crazy! I know, go. Let's go. Let's go. Cold? How's the water? Is it cold? Yes. Freezing? Yes. It looks like you have smallpox. Yeah, when did you get monkeypox? Jeez. It's, it's pronounced monkeypox? Okay. Yes, it okay, is. <laughs> It most definitely is money time. At least that's what Instagram tells me. They only made $36 billion off this last one. And guess who paid for it? Us. Well, actually that's not true. They're going to pay for it. Because they'll just hold on to it for the next generation pays for it. Don't make a sound 
I'll be down if I'm leaving without you. Mm. Yours, I'll take what's left. I'm used to coming up second best, always feel the past the test. I'll be damned if I'm leaving. 